channel or hi hello if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Full Exposure Mascara from Smashbox and I'm super super excited to do this first impressions for you guys because I've been wanting to try this mascara out for quite some time and this has actually been out for a hot minute so I'm really late to the game on this mascara but it is what it is so without further ado let's just go ahead and get right on into the first impressions. Alrighty, so the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara claims to thicken and really lengthen your lashes and give you volume, but yet still looks super, super natural. So we will see if it really does what it claims that it's going to do. Now, this mascara does have a very different wand to it, and I really noticed this last night when I first opened it up. This thing is ginormous. And each of the bristles on the mascara wand um, are all the same length. So that is really cool. But I think that this is a pretty ginormous wand, which really scares me that this might not be a good mascara for beginners to use. The overall packaging of this product is just in a plastic um, mascara tube is really nothing spectacular and it's just black. Now the mini mascara retails for $12 which is the one that I will be trying today and then the full size one retails for $23. So you can pick this up at Ulta, Sephora, or Smashbox.com. So without further ado let's go ahead and get right on into this first impressions of this mascara. Alright, so I'm really excited to finally be able to put some mascara on because I already did the rest of my makeup off camera as you guys can probably tell. And it feels really weird to not have mascara on right now. I just feel like my look looks really weird without mascara. So I'm really happy that I'm finally able to sit down and do this first impressions for you guys. So let's begin. Okay, so I'm really impressed right now. I'm really liking these lashes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like, it is super long. And they are kind of a little bit clumped together. But it's not, like, overly clumped up. And it is super volumizing, which I really love. Holy cow, I really like this mascara. So far, I'm really, really liking it. But... We'll see how it wears throughout the day. The wand was actually really easy to use, and it really wasn't that difficult with it being a bigger wand. I I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was super, super careful with this wand because with big wands like this, you do have to be careful to not get mascara over your eyeshadow or on your eyelid because that can be very, very frustrating. Trust me, I know. Alright, so the one thing that I will say about the mascara right off 
the bat, and I don't know if maybe it's because this is in a smaller um, little tube or not, but it is a little bit more of a drier mascara, so it's not wet, which can be a good thing if you are a beginner in makeup, because with a little bit of a more wetter mascara, you do have to be super, super careful. Um, so with this one, you, pro you probably won't have to be as careful, because it is a little bit more of a drier formula, but with it being a drier formula, you do also have to take into consideration that this will dry up a lot quicker than some mascaras. I'm really curious to see how this is going to wear throughout the day, and I'm really curious to see if it's going to flake off on my bottom lash line. I have a lot of problems with that sometimes, but other than that, right off the bat, I'm really, really liking it. Alright you guys, so I've had this mascara on for a good couple of hours. I don't really remember what time it was when I put on this mascara. I forgot to look at the clock. But it is now 9.30 at night, so I'm about to get ready to go to bed. But really quickly, I just wanted to do one final check in before I turned in for the night. So let's find out if this mascara withheld the test. And so far, it did. There is absolutely no smudging, no flakiness, nothing. My lashes still look on point. I am really impressed with this mascara, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my final verdict on this mascara is this. For right now, I'm loving it and digging it. And if that changes, if I decide later on that I just don't like it, or, you know, it, it does end up flaking on me or just whatever. I will let you guys know in future videos. But for right now, I'm loving it. I'm digging it. And I'm really thinking that it's worth the splurge. So, yeah. I mean, $23 is a lot to spend on a mascara. But, you know, sometimes it's okay to treat yourself. So, all in all, I'm really digging it. Alright, you guys, so that is it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one very, very soon. Bye, guys.